To get started, plumb and level the tow station directly over the survey monument point. So right here I'm going to demonstrate how to get a vertical angle using the total station. So right here we have the total station set up over a control point with a known elevation. In order to get a proper vertical angle, I'm going to rotate the scope and set it so that zero degrees is directly above the scope. Now I can rotate the scope and as I rotate my angle is going to increase until in this case 90 degrees is directly horizontal. I can continue rotating until I can no longer see out of the scope because of the limitations of the setup of the total station itself. Let me demonstrate. Here we see a theoretical setup of a total station much like the one you saw previously. We will use this to demonstrate how vertical angles increase when rotating the scope. The vertical angle moves much like a cosine wave. Watch the graph of the cosine as the prism is moved. As demonstrated, the angle increases as the scope is moved below the initial elevation. In theory, the vertical angle can become as high as 180 degrees. As said before, in the field, there are some limitations because of the physical setup of the scope. So there's two things that we need to know in order to get a vertical position. The vertical angle and the slope distance from the total station to the prism. So now I'm going to line up the total station on the prism. Now I'm going to use the total station to take that measurement. In this case, the vertical angle is 89 degrees 17 minutes and 55 seconds and the distance is 82.95 feet. Okay. So the last two things that we need to know to find the elevation of an unknown point is we need to know the height of the instrument and the height of the rod. Let's take that measurement. When taking your measurement, be sure to get the end of the tape on top of the monument and not on the grass next to it. In this case, the measurement, which you measure to the crosshairs, is 4.75 feet. Now we're going to measure the height of the rod. When measuring the height of the rod, it's important that the rod is on a hard and stable surface. When you take your actual measurement, just line up the tape with the arrow on the rod. In this case, the height of the rod is 4.87 feet. Given these measurements we took today, can you calculate the elevation where the prism was? Let's calculate the prism's location. First, we have to build the necessary equation to find the elevation at a new point. In order to build the equation, first we must determine our origin. With the origin at elevation A, the vertical axis goes directly through that point. We will set up an imaginary triangle from the origin to the prism. The total station determine the vertical angle and the slope distance. From that information, we can determine the horizontal and vertical distance. The horizontal distance is the slope distance multiplied by the sine of the vertical angle. The vertical distance is a slope distance multiplied by the cosine of the vertical angle. When determining the elevation, we need the vertical distance, so we can neglect the horizontal distance for now. With the vertical distance calculated and the height of the rod and instrument measured, we can now find the elevation at B. To find the elevation at B, start from elevation A. Add the elevation at A to the height of the instrument and the vertical distance, and then subtract by the height of the rod. Now let's calculate the elevation at B, or where the prism was located. We'll use the slope distance and vertical angle taken from the total station. The slope distance was 82.95 feet, and the vertical angle was 89 degrees, 17 minutes, and 55 seconds. First, find the vertical distance. In this case, the vertical distance is 1.015 feet. Now we can use the equation we derived before to find elevation at B. 
Add 196.12 feet, the elevation at A, to 4.75 feet, the height of the instrument. Add the vertical distance, 1.015 feet, then finally subtract the height of the rod, 4.87 feet, to get your final elevation. The elevation at B is now 197.01 feet.